Okay, so my dad's on a winning streak. Look at that. <laughs> and I gave him like five pesos. Let's see if he could win again. Oh, oh so close. All right, guys. So right now we're going to take you guys to the Benito Juarez Museum. And we're just going to give you guys a look. So let's go for a bit. We're going to leave my mom here because she's setting up, guys. And me and my dad are going to take you to the museum. So let's go. All right, guys. So we got my dad mic'd up. <laughs> he got his mic. <laughs> I got my mic, so we're gonna go now. Let's go. I will right, we'll be back, man. <laughs> we finally got some mics, so you guys will be able to hear us crystal clear. Okay, guys, so we're going to Museo Casa de Juarez. This is a museum here in Chihuahua, and it's literally like what it says. It's Benito Juarez's, it's his house. So we're gonna go in. We have to pay 11 pesos. We got the tickets, guys. So it was 11 pesos each. And what they had told me was that it was free on Sundays. So let's go into the first spot. Gobernar con el necesario, Juárez sabía que para poder sostenerse el gobierno de la República en el contexto de la guerra debía economizar esfuerzos. Como pueden observar, aquí tenemos algunos de los artículos que fueron utilizados durante esa época de Benito Juárez. Aquí el señor Benito Juárez fue donde estuvo firmando la declaración de la independencia de México. ¿Él era de la independencia? No. 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 Este, creo se que oye él, bien. ¿no? Ajá, creo, sí, no, bien. Se oye bien, pero sí, bien. creo que él vino y mucho eso es, después. Ok, let's go to the next one. I, I can marry this. Yeah, thing. but you just make stuff up. I thought this was Argentina for a little bit. En Chihuahua, Juárez no perdió el tiempo. That well, looks like an Irish flag. Oh, yeah. Dude, that looks like an Irish flag. Who's that? I wonder who that is. Él es el sacerdote, es este... Sí, es un sacerdote. sacerdote. Es... This looks like it used to be an office. Desk, they, they the look, that looks like the main desk, and this it looks like a, a secretary desk. So this is the first this actual little rooms. room, guys. So it's just this. Look at that room. Look and at then that this. Cantera. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Gobernación Nacional. I wonder if this was actually a house, or if it was just kind of like his office. Or like a government building. What is this, like a bookcase? Yeah. But that's like yeah. a piano, no? No, lo abrías y ahí escribías. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, like Abraham Lincoln yeah. kind of. Yeah. <laughs> These books actually look really old. Really old. Oh. They're even falling apart. The white company, Doyle. Dude, these are American books. At least these I, two. I bet you they are worth a lot of money. Prensa. Prensa de es. Escuadernación del siglo XIX. This is from the 19th century. It's like to for papers, like printer. A no? binder. It's oh. binder. It's binder. I thought it was like a printer. Okay, wow. this is. Este really está cool. extraordinario. Oh, Ahí está Benito, see, Benito Juárez. Juárez. Ese es Benito Juárez. There's Benito Juárez, guys. Look at that. And there they have some old pottery. <laughs> yeah, that looks, it looks like a cool picture. His room. What's it say right here? Supongo que Pepe y Velo están yendo a la escuela. Oh, de sus hijos. Está del Benito Juárez, Chihuahua, enero 12 de 1865. 1865. That was a long time ago. That's a lot of things. <laughs> That's nice. I like the house. Oh, this is cool. Oh. Las monedas viejas. Monedas de cobre. Si ustedes se encuentran una, if you guys find one like this, let me know. I want to buy it. Quiero leer de lo que dice aquí de las monedas. Monedas acuñadas durante la intervención francesa oh. por disposiciones del presidente Benito Juárez para financiar la guerra contra los invasores. Oh, wow. Eran conocidas como cuartillas y tlacos. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, these look old. Yeah, old tacos. Look at this. I love this kind of stuff. I want, do you think it's an original? Yeah, I think so. Those coins that we just saw were from the French invasion. 
and then I believe that these were from the French invasion as well. So these were the ones that they used. In estos momentos necesitamos probar la Francia y al mundo entero que somos dignos de ser libres. Contamos con los recursos suficientes para defender nuestra nación y nuestra independencia. Cinco de mayo is an Independence Day. It's from when Mexico beat the French. La justicia reinará en nuestra tierra. La paz, la bondad, la prosperidad, la libertad. Oh. Okay, guys, so look at this. These are swords. What is this, like a musket? Yeah, it looks like a musket, huh? Yeah, look at the, the trigger. Look that looks like gun. a musket. Oh my God, look at that gun. That's crazy. If any of you guys are gun experts, do you guys know what kind of guns those are? The rifle and the handgun? If you guys know, let us know down in the comments because I want to find out what kind this is. Oh, this looks like probably one of the originals. Yeah. This looks like a really old flag. A Chihuahua flag, guys. Okay, guys, then we go through this little hallway. Oh. I think that's pretty new. Yeah, this looks like newer, huh? And look at that. Yeah, I wonder who that is. Benito Juárez a su disposición en este artículo dando homenaje a la campana nacional del estado de Chihuahua. Stone. Do you think this is original stone? Yeah, I think so. Este paraguas y este bastón fueron objetos permanentes pertenecientes a Don Luis de Razas. That's him. McDonald. <laughs> Who was Juan McDonald? He was also a military guy. There was a military guy in this cuartel. Uh -huh. His name was Juan McDonald. Nah. Right there. Do you see it? Juan McDonald. Do you see that? Yeah, McDonald's? he's probably of American ancestry. That's that's Irish. McDonald. Yeah, McDonald. He might have even been one of the Irishmen that fought for Mexico during the U.S. war. Possibly. We have no idea, but I know that a lot of um, Irish fought for Mexico during that time. And his name is Juan McDonald. Crazy. Eflick. There's another one. <laughs> yeah, there's various. Te Teodoro Eflick. I saw various ones that have English surnames. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> So this is a third room, guys, and they have these paintings. I think these are copies. Wow, and then look at this, a horse carriage. I feel like this would probably be even the one that Benito Juarez was carried in. <laughs> Francisco Urcuidi. If I'm not mistaken, this is a Basque surname. So this guy was probably of Basque ancestry. This one is beautiful. Kind of looks like kind of goth though, doesn't it? Because like, the lanterns and all that. But you got to imagine, at that time they didn't have electricity. So lighting those during the night when they were traveling overnight, that must have been super important. So look at the difference, guys. So my dad is 5'11". So imagine how tall that thing is, guys. That thing's at least, what, six, six? No, seven feet, no? Probably even seven feet. My dad's saying that this was the monster this truck of those days. <laughs> I want to introduce you to the first monster truck that everybody <laughs> thinks that monster trucks were invented elsewhere. No, this is where they got invented. This is our first monster truck ever built here in Chihuahua, in Chihuahua. Mexico. <laughs> Benito Juarez was the first monster truck owner. <laughs> this is the first monster truck. Yeah, it's, it's, it's huge. Guys, look, those are past day sh car shots. You could see the bands. This is a shock. This is the design, and it's yeah. made of cowhide. This is made of cowhide. Yeah, oh, yeah, you could tell. It's a cowhide. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. And look at the springs in the bottom. Those are four. Yeah. This is a four by four right here. <laughs> four by <laughs> four by four all the way. That was the that was grave digger. The original grave digger. <laughs> Imagine getting shot by this thing. In Cañona, you put pow powder, then you put the, the string, fuse. the fuse, uh huh. Then you put the cannonball in here, and with the stick, you go chuk, chuk, you, to put in the cannonball. You light it, and there you go. Look at this, guys. Here's another one, but this one we could actually see and touch. Oh, dude, this is really cool. Oh, yeah. 
This one's pretty tall too. Oh, and look, this is where they connected the horses. Yeah. They connected them from here. And okay. this is the inside. Wow, guys. Well, that was pretty much it. We walked through the whole thing. Not too much, but it's actually a really cool place. Monday through Saturday, it's 11 pesos. Sundays, you could come in for free. If you guys are ever in Chihuahua, this is a great place to come and check out. Next, we'll show you guys the Hidalgo place. And that was where Miguel Hidalgo y Costilla actually was killed by the Spanish soldiers for being a traitor to the Spanish crown. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And as always, God bless. So if you're signing a logout book and it just says where the people came from, and it's just to have a history of all the visitors from around the country and around the world probably.